All right, guys. What's going down? All right. Here we go. Next, uh, next series of reviews. As you can see, I got some Nike boxes in front of me. Um, I'm not really going to talk about this one too much, just to let you know that I did get it. Um, you know, I was interested in, in getting a three again. Don't, I don't know why. I, I, I just felt like I needed Three's that. a classic shoe. It's, 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 my, it's my favorite shoe. out of all of them. You know what? I, I still like the... I don't know, like that colorway. Print. I like the colorway. It, it's kind of similar to, to the OG. I know it's not the OG, but, you know, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to wear it a little bit and see how I like it. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about it because, you know, it is what it is. The, the leather does feel a little bit nicer. I'm not going to I'm not gonna front. It does feel a little bit nicer, a little bit softer. So we'll see. I, you know, as you can see, I haven't worn it yet. The laces are still tied together. Um... But I, I might take them out soon. So just so you know, I did get the the last retro three that dropped. Um, I'll entertain offers if I don't wear or keep them. But anyway, just want to let you guys know that I had it. So, but these next two, these next two are interesting, and you'll see why. Uh, at the time of all the Tiffany craze, a week or two before. Uh, a week or two before the drop of the Tiffany's, Nike SB uh, released a few of their classic shoes, the Janowski, the Kostin, in a runner style uh, silhouette. Now, I don't know why people are not fucking buying this shoe because when I tell you it is probably one of the most comfortable shoes I've worn in a very long time, and I know that's that's tough to say, especially these days with, you know, Jelly 5s. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time finding anything that's even remotely close to the 5. Listen when I tell you guys. I know it's Roche runs. I know the fucking uh, Lunar Glides are out there. You know, the Fly Knits. The best way to describe this Janoski Max, because it's basically a Janoski skate shoe silhouette put on an airbag. Uh, yeah, airbag. Uh, an Air Max outsole, all right? This shoe Turn is shoe a little for me. I'm getting retardedly fucking comfortable. It is super light, and look how fucking dope it is. I mean, it's, it's, it's small, all right? It's light, again, the same way I said. Um, it is it's just one piece. The whole shoe has just one, there's no... No, no liner. It's just the one solid tongue attached to the shoe itself. All right. Um, speckled outsole. You got the airbag unit in here, uh, and it is really a, um, a cross between a Roche Run and a Fly Knit. That's the best way to describe it. It comes. There's like three or four colorways out right now. Um, pick something up. I got the red. The first one that came out, the red version. I got the black colorway as well. Uh, and that's the best way to describe it. It is really a mixture of a Roche with the fly knit and super light, so fucking comfortable. Um, size go go a half size down because they do run a little bit a little bit long, uh, you know, lengthwise, not widthwise. Widthwise, they're, they're just right. So um, go half size down, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But this this shoe is is killing it. The Costins also came out in a Max version, a Costin Max. Yeah. It's a little bit of a firmer shoe. Uh, it's got more of a solid shell. It's got you know pieces of uh, uh, of the synthetic leather, plastic, you know, around the the saddle part especially. And I think there's another bar that goes ac across the toe box. But again, it's um, you know a runner style shoe made from a skate shoe. But here you have a Janowski Max, super dope. Pick one up, man. Believe me, you'll thank me. Um, and then the next shoe. Hold on, as I check my phone. All right. The next shoe. Now, this shoe I picked up a long time ago, and it's a fly knit. It's a fly knit chukka. Um, you know, I, it, just look at my last fly knit chukka review, and you, you know, I, it describes the shoe itself. But this squadron blue, the whole nine yards with the white obsidian colorway, reminds me of the HTM fly knit chukkas that dropped last year. Um, as far as the fly knit chukka or this shoe is concerned, everything else stays the same. You know the comfort, you know uh, the material is made. Um, I just like the actual fact that it's it resembles the HTM. And this is the closest thing you'll get to, to having an HTM if you don't have one. Um, 
So, and without breaking the fucking bank, too. So, anyway, uh, I had to pick this shoe up. You know, it was kind of weird that they dropped it in the dead of winter, but anyway, this is definitely a summer, spring, summer shoe. Uh, again, classic colorway. Uh, very, you know, very simple. How does that run? Uh, these run actually, these run true to size. So, if you don't have a fly knit chucka, or if you don't have any fly knit for that matter, stay true to size. Um, but again, very comfortable. As you can see, the shoe is so soft. I mean, it's just. You could fold it in fucking half, three quarters, and you know you won't you won't do any damage to the shoe. You got the speckled uh, out outsole, midsole. I mean everything is uh, is dope on the shoe. Classic colorway. If you like HTMs, pick up this one. Uh, you still might be able to find these certain places as they pop up once in a while. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. So um, got one more uh, one more pickup in this series, this set, whatever you want to call it to show you. I actually just picked it up today. So um, let me uh, put these away and we'll be back and I'll show you the, the next one. Peace.